Discovery from Drexel University has shocked the entire world by revealing a huge breakthrough in battery technology. These batteries can be the holy grail of power storage. What does the revolutionary battery offer? What worries will it ease? Could these lithium-ion batteries be the future of battery storage? Join us as we dive into how this breakthrough has shocked the entire industry. A method for adding sulfur to lithium-ion batteries that provides more than 4,000 recharges was accidentally discovered by chemical engineers at Drexel University. The secret to renewable energy is energy storage. We cannot advance with renewable energy without it. We have been concentrating on lithium-ion thus far. However, there are additional players in the game. Although lithium sulfur batteries have long been hailed as the best form of energy storage, a technological issue has prevented their widespread use until recently. It's fantastic that a team of scientists from Drexel University has finally achieved progress in lithium sulfur batteries. Given how readily available and plentiful sulfur is, lithium ion batteries may have a much more viable and manageable replacement if this innovation succeeds. Additionally, lithium sulfur batteries could attain up to eight times the energy density of lithium ion batteries. That is a significant accomplishment. Now and again, cutting edge technology seems to arrive and transform our environment. Examples of such groundbreaking accidental discoveries include dynamite, penicillin, X ray equipment, and even microwaves. But this time, by unlocking a rare technology called lithium sulfur batteries, it not only promises to revolutionize the way we live, but also maybe save our planet from impending climate change. For decades, we have been looking for the greatest technology to support our contemporary way of life and enable clean technologies like electric vehicles. The preferred battery technology since the early 1990s has been lithium iron. It powers everything from phones and Teslas to backup energy grid infrastructure and satellites. They have some very serious drawbacks, even though they have propelled us into the 21st century. First, mining the elements required to make them, such as cobalt, is often exceedingly harmful to the environment. They even leach forth harmful substances and devastate large ecosystems. In actuality, there is also a humanitarian issue because some of these mines exploit child labor and have dangerous working conditions. The life cycle issue is next. We expect our smartphones to charge more quickly. Everything from phones to cars fall under this category. But if you regularly charge lithium ion batteries quickly, as anyone with a smartphone would attest, they can quickly lose capacity. Battery deterioration is a major concern, especially for the EV industry. A used EV may occasionally be worthless and extremely expensive to replace if the battery is worn out. Overall, this is holding down the adoption of EVs and will only worsen the already serious issue of electrical waste. The issue of density is also present. Lithium ion packs are heavy, big and unwieldy despite being very energy dense. Because of their weight, batteries are not practical for various uses, such as commercial electric planes and ships. This reduces the range of electric cars. Lithium ion batteries also have a fire risk, since a damaged cell may catch fire and burn ferociously on its own. Just look at what happened to the Rimac EV that Richard Hammond crashed and any of the older Samsung smartphones, the Note 7. For this reason, researchers at Drexel University were studying a novel kind of battery called a lithium sulfur battery. Lithium sulfur first appears to be the answer to all of the lithium issues. It can be produced for less money, has less environmentally harmful materials, has up to three times greater energy density, which translates to a lighter battery, and is much less prone to catch fire. All of this without affecting charging rates. What then is the catch? Why don't we have them already? They do, however, have a serious issue. Lithium sulfur batteries are often only capable of handling around half as many charge cycles as a lithium ion battery. So a lithium sulfur battery is essentially dead after a year or two of regular use. Batteries made of lithium sulfur may have the potential to be up to three times more energy dense and cost less to create than lithium ion batteries. The Drexel team was experimenting with new lithium sulfur methods to address this problem by altering the batteries as cathode chemicals. They wanted to slow down the chemical reaction when the battery charges and discharges, producing polysulfides. These crystals effectively remove sulfur from the electrode, drastically reducing capacity. These extremely energy-dense batteries might live longer if they are slowed down. But what they discovered was amazing, a sulfur chemical phase that essentially halts battery deterioration. This revelation stunned them so much that they had to double-check everything to ensure they weren't misinterpreting it. 
Monoclinic gamma phase sulfur is the name of this chemical phase, which has only ever been seen in the lab at temperatures above 95 degrees Celsius, 203 degrees Fahrenheit. This stage halts the reaction that generates polysulfides inside the battery. Thanks to this technique, the battery was put through 4,000 charge cycles without losing capacity, which means it lasts at least twice as long as lithium ion. It's also important to note that their battery could charge just as quickly and had three times the energy density of lithium ion. It would be an enormous understatement to say this is a fantastic discovery, but there are additional advantages to this new sulfur phase, such as decreased battery expansion and higher safety margins. In other words, this battery possesses all the characteristics of the ideal mass market battery. And these researchers only discovered it by chance. The scientists haven't yet worked out what is truly happening. Like with most unintentional discoveries, they still don't understand why or how to maintain this particular sulfur phase. More study is required to find the answers to these concerns, to create a dependable battery that can be used in billions of computers, electric vehicles and similar devices. But the wait will be worthwhile, because these batteries weigh only a third as much and last twice as long as identical lithium-ion batteries. Technology will enable electric short-haul aircraft, cargo ships and passenger ferries, an irreversible chemical reaction between intermediate sulfur compounds known as polysulfides and the carbonate electrolyte has made adding sulfur to lithium batteries with commercially acceptable carbonate electrolyte difficult. Previous attempts to employ a sulfur cathode in a battery with a carbonate electrolyte solution resulted in the battery failing after one cycle due to this unfavorable reaction. This indicates that faster, more effective EVs with thousands of miles of range will be economically feasible at prices comparable to today's EVs. Additionally, they would still be helpful in 10 years, significantly decreasing waste and speeding up the adoption of electric vehicles. Additionally, technology will enable electric short-haul aircraft, cargo ships and passenger ferries. These industries will finally be able to meet their low-carbon objectives because of the weight saving, long lifespan and affordable price. In other words, lithium sulfur batteries might make it possible for a wide range of activities to switch to electricity, making net zero emissions much more realistic. Amazingly, it gets better still. Plenty of lithium, sulfur and other materials on Earth go into making this new battery. With a stronger supply chain, as a result, we can significantly reduce the ecological impact of mining. However, this discovery is not over yet. The Drexel team is already considering exploiting this innovation to create sodium sulfur batteries. Doing so may make batteries even more environmentally friendly and eliminate a major supply chain barrier, ensuring that EV adoption can proceed at the lightning quick rates that automakers aim for. This chance discovery at Drexel University is expected to revolutionize how people use energy and speed up the transition to a more environmentally friendly, carbon neutral society. Let's just hope the Drexel team can quickly move this technology from the lab and into our hands. Easing worries about the supply of basic materials. Utilizing sulfur as a lithium-ion cathode eliminates the requirement for cobalt, nickel and manganese, materials with limited supply and, in the case of cobalt, ethical dilemmas. But sulfur is abundant and found in huge quantities, a major advantage for the US battery business. The Drexel team thinks the discovery will enable scientists to continue looking for alternatives to lithium anode, which might include more earth-abundant possibilities like sodium. According to Kalra, reducing our reliance on pricey and challenging to extract elements like lithium is essential for the advancement of batteries and for enhancing our capacity to employ renewable energy sources. In addition to Kalra and Pai, the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering at the Drexel College of Engineering also included postdoctoral researcher Arvinder Singh, PhD, and Assistant Professor Maureen Tang. That brings us to the end of today's video. Let us hear what you've got to say about this huge battery breakthrough.